Woodstock Fruit Festival, we'll see you there, August 20th, 28th, 2012. I run, was out for an easy jog today with Freely and I, uh, I started to have a dump in the bushes and I said, Freely, I'll catch up and just go easy, but I never caught up with Freely anyway. So I'm running along the beach on the back turn of our jog and I'm looking, looking for sort of Freely and I see these, these fisher people bringing in a net. I'm like, okay, you know, I used to be a full on fisherman, you know, I fished for, man, I fished for probably 15, 18 years, full on, you know, I was fish crazy, man. So I know a lot about fishing, you know, so I'm watching these people bringing the net and I'm looking around to see where Freely is. So they're bringing in the net and then I start talking to the guys, said, you guys taking fish from this ocean? Like, don't you know how much methyl mercury's in there? And I'm talking to them and they're, they're just fucking brain dead people. You can't get anything through them. Really low, just people with no common sense. So you're pulling in this fish and then one of them, a big fat person, brings in this two kilo tailor, which is a fucking big tailor, and just throws up in the beach for the die and the fish is flapping around. So, <laughs> so I'm like, fuck that. I grab the fish, run down the beach and throw it back in the water and it swims off. And they're looking at me like, like, what the fuck did he just do? I'm like, you're too fat to eat that. I just did you a favor, mate. And I kept on jogging. And I thought it was a, such a funny situation I got myself into there. That the universe, God, whoever put all those things into my presence at that moment. I've got experience in fishing. I can outrun 99.99999% of people on the planet. Three, I can fight. I've been stabbed before. I've been in prison before. I've been in gang fights before. I do boxing training, kickboxing training every week. So, and I know how to publicly speak with people. So all these things you put into that little situation. It's like, oh, I'm just going to go with the flow and follow my heart. And I thought, that fish doesn't deserve to just land the bench there. So I picked it up and threw it back in. And I didn't give a fuck what the rednecks said. If the rednecks want to come and have, if the rednecks want to come and square up, boom, let's fucking bring it on. I'll square up, no problems anytime. I won't start the fight because I don't want to get assault charges and, you know, go to court and stuff like that. But any self-defense, man. Bring it on, <laughs> bring it on. It's really valuable to be a good runner, a good fighter, to know your legal limits, to know how to speak with people, know how to you know contribute a message and speak up and, and not you know talk, oh you know, I wish I did that, I wish I did that. I did exactly what I wanted to do there, uh, short of you know, grabbing the fisherman and, and fucking strangling him in the water with a net. But you know, I did realistically what I could do and carried on with my run. It was fantastic. So I got a good sense of contribution then. And I know those fishermen, next time they'll always be thinking, is there some crazy fucker going to come along and give us shit again and steal all the fish and put it back in the water? What's going to happen? Because what are we doing to the planet, man? 90% of the world's fish stocks are fucking extinct. And we've got more morons out there saying, hey, this is a good source to the mega free to make sure you get your fatty ashes from fish. Because p p p plants don't have fat f f fatty acids in there, so you're gonna eat fish and increase your chance of methyl mercury poisoning and uric acid, cholesterol, saturated fat, and radioactive elements that are more commonly found in the ocean today. So do your bit for defishing the oceans and raping the oceans, and make sure you eat lots of fish. Okay. Talking to this guy, big fat guy, couldn't run you know 100 meters of pace, and I said to him. This fish is full of mercury, I wouldn't eat fish. I said, I don't eat, I've eaten fish for 11 years. And he said, So what if you don't eat fish, what do you eat then? I said, plant foods, you can live on plant foods. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, grains, tubers, yams, whatever. Plant food, that's what I eat. And then he said, Are you vegetarian? And I said, no, I'm actually a vegan. What do you do for protein? And I said, protein? Protein? What's protein again? I don't know about pro what, what is protein? And then he said, Protein, mate. You're not getting enough protein. Protein makes you strong and fit and healthy. You need your protein. If I'm not getting enough protein, then we'll put a $10,000 bet. I can run down to that headland and back faster than you can, and then we'll do, we'll see who's the first of 500 push ups, and then we'll see who's getting enough protein. And if you're right, then I'll give you 10,000 bucks. And then he said, Oh, you're judgmental. I like eating cat food. I need my protein. If you're gonna, and I said, fair enough, if you're going to eat fish, get your methyl mercury's checked, man. That's really important. And then he said, Oh, I should be right, mate. So this morning was just another case. He had another case of Paleoethic Neanderthal caveman primal fanboy morons raping the ocean with total disregard to mother nature, to sentient creatures, just 
smoking the cigarettes, big fat guts. Yeah, she'll be right, mate. Fucking, you don't get enough protein if you're a vegan. You can only get protein if you eat dead animals because I know you can kick my ass in kickboxing and run down the beach fucking 10 million times faster than me, but I need my protein because... I'm just a redneck fucking moron with no fucking passion for life and I take all my anger out on killing fucking defenseless innocent animals because I'm a fucking loser. So you just gotta laugh at it sometimes. Do what you're gonna do. Don't worry about the fucking rednecks. Keep on rolling. Post your comments down and questions down below. What do you find frustrating with the redneck fuckers who are destroying the planet? What do you find frustrating about that? Peace. Thanks for watching. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe this video. Thanks for all the continued support. Make your life count. Be the change you want to see. Be a voice for the voiceless. Boom.